Good morning, and a good morning it is. Uh, so obviously we are in the wagon. Um, I am headed up to pit race because I'm doing uh, an autocross in the wagon today. So we're going to see how it does, if it stays together, hopefully. Um, it's technically a low-key autocross, so there's really no brackets, there's no classes, there's timing, but it's really only against yourself. So it should be an interesting way to see how the wagon handles. Now, I've put new brakes, new front bearings, greased the front steering and suspension, um, and I've put new tires on it. So it should be capable of handling everything. The only thing that I'm worried about is potentially the transmission not being happy with me. It does have a 4L60, which isn't the nicest of transmissions. Um, does the job, but under load, it's really not too happy. So I'll give you an update as we get up there. Uh, I'm gonna meet up with Sam Calese, Antonio, and then Antonio's friend, Savold. Um, Antonio is bringing his dad's new Tesla Model 3 Performance. Sam is bringing his 2014-2015 uh, M4. And Savold is bringing an S4. Don't know what generation, um, but it's a newer one for sure. So I will give updates as it goes. Uh, hopefully get somebody to film an outside run and we'll see if the, uh, the welfare wagon can handle it. All right, so first session is coming up. We're gonna see what happens. Sam is in his uh, M4 right there. Savold in the 19 S4 is right there. Antonio's Tesla is right there. So we're gonna see what happens. Um, I'm gonna try to see if I can get outside videos later on, because uh, this is just going to be hysterical, so we're gonna have fun. Well, this is Antonio in very much so rear wheel drive mode. Very good, small. A little bit of brakes, a little bit of brakes. Yep, bring it in. Okay, constant. Good. A little bit more. Okay, constant. Ready? On the outside. Constant power through this. Keep going, keep going. Power. Wide and brake. Yep, late brake. Aim for the second cone. Pull it in. A little bit of power. 30. Seven three.
love that beauty. Yeah, okay, I thought he was home. Yes, yes, okay, yeah. Good, good eyeballs on that. Sorry, okay. yeah, yeah, you're good. So I just realized I didn't do an outro for the video. Um, long story short, it was an absolute blast. Uh, I would 100% do it again. I did run into some issues, not with the transmission like I was thinking, but the OptiSpark for the LT1 wasn't, uh, wasn't happy. <laughs> uh, it was starting to break up uh, as I was driving up there. I did the day of runs. Uh, it would break up under low RPM, but would seem to get better under high RPMs. So that will be a project. I'll probably do a video on replacing that just because it's a common thing that happens on the LT1s. Um, the ignition starts to slowly deteriorate because it's located underneath the water pump. The water pump leaks and electricity and water don't really go well together. Uh, so if you have the opportunity, especially a low key autocross, I would 100% uh, recommend it. The cost was 40 bucks for the day, and there were three sessions, and everybody got three runs per session. Uh, and sometimes if they have time at the end, you know, they, they run all the way up until 4 p.m. If they have 15, 20 minutes left, they do what are called fun runs. So everybody can get back in line and try to do as many runs as possible until the time is over. Um, it helps you so much in learning car control learning what to do in situations if your car, if it's rear-wheel drive, decides to go sideways on you, um, and just makes you a better driver overall in trying to, to, to pinpoint things. Uh, don't know how true that is for the wagon, just because it was such a boat, but uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed it, because any time I show somebody, they die laughing. So, uh, you know, keep an eye out on this. I'll do some suspension mods probably down the road, just replacing things, because everything's 26 years old and uh, see if we can get the time a little bit better. But as always, thank you for watching. I am RJ. This is Horsepower and Pizza. Build it for you.